Hi everybody, hello, hello. I'm just laughing because, oh, I pressed the wrong button, of course. I always press the wrong button. You'd think I would have learned by now, but I haven't. Anyway, I have been messing around this morning with scraps. <laughs> Seems to be all I do these days. Um, and I also had to go to the nurse as well. So that was time out. And still had a piece of birthday cake left. So I had that with my lunch. <laughs> it's just what you want to do before you go to the nurse about diabetes, isn't it? But, you know, I couldn't resist it. It's all gone now. Mr F bought me the, the most gorgeous cake from Marks and Spencer's. It was white chocolate and strawberry, I think. And it had great shards of white chocolate on the top. My goodness, it was just to die for. Well, it probably will be the death of me, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. But that's it. It's gone now. We've finished it, fortunately. So it's back on the wagon. <laughs> anyway, today, what are we doing today? Well, this is what I hope to be showing you what to do. Oh, not what to do. How I did it. Uh, you might like it or you might not. We've made envelopes. I've made envelopes, but I've made them out of scraps and I've joined the scraps together to give me enough size to get these envelopes. And I thought they, I've put some um, journaling paper in them. Well, it's quite a long piece of journaling paper. Let's have a look and see. It's like that. It's folded up. I stenciled the top and stenciled the bottom. So it looks pretty in there and I thought that they would nicely pop into a pocket and be a really nice thing. So I should explain to you firstly where I got these absolutely stunning birds from. I know they're not Timmy so yeah spit the dummy out if you want to but what happened was my good friend Tony Vince sent me some some of these that she'd fussy cut. And I absolutely adored them. I just had to have them. So she said she got them from Sweet Pea Curiosities on Etsy. So there I went there and I bought them. And oh my goodness, they're a beautiful set. Let's see what I've got left that I haven't fussy cut. There's loads of pages. I think there's 26 pages in total. And she calls them mixed media bird fussy cuts. But I mean, look at that one alone. I did print mine out on matte photo paper, so they really are vibrant. And these ones, I mean, these are quite large. These you just tear around there and they're ready to go. Aren't they beautiful? And that I just printed two to a page because they are quite large. So scaled it down a bit. These are scaled down as well. In fact, a lot of these I've scaled down, to be honest. Look at the robins. They'll be good come Christmas, won't they? So, yeah, I mean, that's that's that one. Just this is two to a page. And it's a kind of more manageable size, isn't it? He's a, a, a big fella. Um, I'll just briefly show you through this in case you're interested. Because personally, I think that amongst the most beautiful birds I've ever seen. I love that mixed media background that they're on. They are fabulous. They really, really are. Um, green ones, blue ones, ones without very much background at all. The ones with the background are easy to fuss, fussy cut out because you can just tear them. Uh, those ones. They're lovely, aren't they? Love those. Love the colouring in those. They're, they're all just absolutely gorgeous. And I love to put birds and flowers in with my Timmy. Those I really love. Oh, lovely. So yeah, all in all, you get 26 pages. I'm pretty sure in saying that. Um, and it's from Sweet Pea Curiosities, so... Should you like them? And I can't remember how much they were. They weren't a really expensive kit that I do know. But first of all, we have to make the envelopes. So back to the scrap drawer. Let's get the scrap drawer out. Oh, I've got it caught. And lay some things out that we think 
might work. Um, that's single sided, although I did use a piece of single sided in one of these, this one. Um, obviously not a Timmy remnant, this map of the world one here. Um, and all I did was I just stenciled on the back. I think it looks fine. Um, so yeah, I could use that. Could use that. Um, oh, I like the stripes. I like that. Ah, yes, I like that. And that. That's oh, that's from the abandoned. But I love that side. I love them both, but for what we're doing. Um, got that nice dark blue. And that's a new sheet from Backdrops. Somehow found its way into here. Um, oh, that's nice, isn't it? Right, there's, there's plenty there. There's more than enough there. Draw away, out of my, out of my way. Right, so on my envelope punch board, it says that in order to get a three by four, well, a, a envelope that you can put a three by four card into, uh, you need a six by six piece. No, I think I made mine bigger. Three by four and a half, that's right. So I need a six and a half by six and a half inch piece. Um, so if you've got an envelope scoreboard, you're, you're great. If not, um, I'm sure you know how to work around it. Let's see what we've got here. I kind of like that and that. Or either of those six and a half. That is six, so I will need to add something on to that. And then, so that's going to measure loads, but what does that measure that way? six hmm. so and put that on there and then maybe put an, a bit of something different in there that would be all right let's do that so i don't really need that that wide so let's cut two inches off that so we said it measured six so let's cut it at four And you can tear these if you'd rather. I'm particularly rubbish at tearing, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so this now measures four. So I want this to be six and a half. So I can get away with cutting. I want a little overlap to glue. So if I have a little overlap then i need to cut it about there about there i'm just i'm gonna err on the side of safety here just in case because it's all a bit slapdash this is beautiful this paper absolutely beautiful where's my mark i think that's my mark i hope that's my mark right so we've got that and that so can I add those two pieces together and get a six and a half inch piece? That is the question. Yes, I believe I can. And I've got that much overlap. Perfect. So I'm just going to put some glue, 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 up the side of there. My goodness, this is vibrant on the inside, isn't it? Which you could have as your outside. I'm not telling you what you can have and what you can't have. Oh, I wanted to ink that. Oh, blimey, I forgot. There we go. So let's just pop that over there. Don't need you, Dorba. Goodbye. So there, that's not too bad. I think that's relatively straight. And then I want another bit to put in here. Now then, 
Let's see. Well, I could, yeah, I could do it that way, couldn't I? Yeah, let's do it that way. So I just want to cut it just so I've got enough. So about there. <coughs> and then I'm going to trim it up tight to uh, six and a half. Oh, I don't think that was a pencil mark. Oh, poo. No, that was not the pencil mark. <laughs> Just as I was cutting it, I saw the pencil mark I should have been going to. Oh, well, we're making scraps. Making scraps from scraps. Right, let's not miss that one then. Right. Let's ink around this. Oh, it's gone to hide now, it's sulking. Because I told him to go away. <laughs> so I'm going to stick that onto there like that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Is that right? That what I need to be doing? Yeah, I think so. So I'll stick that onto there. And there we have it. Our, well, as Nick the Booksmith would call it a Franken page, but it's only little. It's just big enough for an envelope, for the envelope we want to make. If you want to do this sort of thing and make a 12 by 12 page um, for yourself to cut into, excellent, go ahead, do that. So I've made a mark here on my uh, board where six and a half is. So I'm going to use that now. Cut that off at six and a half. Cut this down flush. Down there. And then let's see what the story is here. got a little bit excess so I'm bound to have little bits of excess because that's the way I measured it very casually so there's one and I'm going to stick my uh, stick I have stuck them I am going to stitch the seams as it were of mine and on these ones you can see that I've used that's a better example uh, I've used an overlocking stitch because I wanted something really to accentuate the fact that it was, you know, we'd made it the way we have. So let's make another one, flushed with success. So I like this. I like this one. I like it inside and out. So six and a half is there. So let's cut that. And this is been pretty accurate so okay oh, I'm going to trim off that torn edge only because I haven't used it for any of the others and I, I don't want to start now there we go What's that? oh it's a tear must have been where it came out the book I think um right so i need so that measures four and a half so i need a two inch wide piece that's just not quite wide enough what about this yeah what about that that's gorgeous yeah i'm just going to stick that onto there it's going to be a little wide for our requirements i've forgotten to ink again Oh me, oh my, what is wrong with me? So keen to show this to you. There we go. So I want to stick that on there. And kind of straight, if I can manage it. Just using my uh, medium mat. To get it pretty straight I think that's it lovely 
and then that measures six. So we're not far off really, we only need a little bit to go in there. So, um, what have we got? Well, I've got this, the same bit that I used the last time. I could use that side, but I like this side. So yeah, let's ink around it first before we do anything rash. Get some glue on it. Is that the right side? No, that's the wrong side. <laughs> there we go, and just pop that somewhere around there. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be sewn over and glued and well, gluing it now, but then it's going to get sewn over, so it'll be all right. So there we are. Right. So now we need to cut this down to six and a half by six and a half. Looks nice, doesn't it? Shall I cut it off there or shall I cut it off there? Or a bit of both? That's a question, isn't it? Let's see what it looks like if we were to cut that at six and a half. Yeah, I like that. That's all right. Let's do that. And let's do this at six and a half. There we go. So we've got two Franken envelopes for one of a better expression for them. And what I'm going to do now is take these to the machine and I'm just going to sew you could add many more than three parts, or just two parts, or, or whatever. Depends on the size of your scraps, doesn't it? But I'm, I'm going to sew mine now, and I'll come right back when I've done that. Right, so there we are. I've stitched those in that lovely uh, overlock pattern, which is bold. It's nice. You can see on the other side. So, now we need to make our envelopes. So it says six and a half by six and a half and the first notch is at two and three quarters. Okay. Let's do that then. Two oh let's get my thingy out. Two and three quarters. I must admit I, I'm I've really enjoyed oh where am I off to? Really enjoyed making these. I really, really, really have. It's just like you get something out of nothing. I love that concept. The other night we went out for well, we went out for a meal. We well we did I suppose. Um, but there was a, a a street food kind of thing going on, and um, the people that we ordered off the card machine had broken down and they consequently they, they couldn't really take orders unless anybody had cash but it was kind of in the middle of nowhere so nobody would have gone off to you know the atm or whatever they just wouldn't have ordered off them they'd have just gone somewhere else so oh this is right on the stitching um so mr f because he is a Mr. F, fixed it for them. <laughs> and they gave us our dinner for free. And then they were able to carry on um, doing their, you know, doing business with people, which is great. So, two and three quarters. So yeah, that burger, or whatever it was we had, I can't even remember. If it was me, it was probably a burger. I love burgers. Um, yeah, so on that occasion when we got our dinner for free, it tasted so much better. <laughs> it's a clever old stick, as Mr. F. Used to be in the Air Force, you know.
he was an electronics engineer. Which is why, I guess, he's so good at... Oof. I'm very wayward today with where I'm... where I'm marking these lines in. Uh, yeah, I guess that's why he's so good at fixing electronics. <laughs> very handy to have around. His motto, I guess, if he has a motto, is if it was made by hand, it can be fixed by hand. Sounds fair to me. Right, so that's uh, that punched out. Put that up there. It's going to fall off at some stage, so don't get a fright when it does. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's just fold these in. Have I got a... Yeah, I've got a bone folder here. That'll do. Fold these in along the lines and then you'll get to see what it looks like. And I'll tell you, at the end of this, it does not like look like a pile of scraps, I don't think, anyway. It looks like we've carefully created it. So that's that one. That's, oh, that's just so nice. I love it. I really do. So what I'm going to do is... Put that, put my two sides in, put that over the top and make a little mark on each side. Then I'm going to cut that so it, it, I don't have that point. So I don't like that point, to be honest with you. But I am rubbish at cutting straight, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's kind of all right. <laughs> and this I want to round the corner. And I get on better if I use my co ordinary corner rounder than the um, the envelope board. I do know it takes corners off, but it's also a bit of a pest. Sometimes it doesn't work. Look at the inside of that. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. This might be my favourite one ever, I think. Well, ever. Ever out of the five I've made. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? See all three pieces there. So let's do the same with this one. Let's put that there. Make a mark there. And a mark there. Let's see if I can find my big scissors. I think it might be easier. So there's that mark. Where's the other one there? Yeah, it's, it's kind of not straight. I, I could have guessed that. There we are. That'll be fine. And round this corner. Way. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. Right. So all I'm going to do now is ink around everything. Uh, in, ink the inner flap of this as well as the outer flap and around the edges, blah, blah. So I'll see you when I've done all that because that's just boring stuff. OK, so I've got those all inked around. So now I'm just going to stick them together. So just, oh, look at the state of that. That's it, fixed. So just a little bit around here, around here, and up here. Just fold that up, perfect. Lovely. Give it a bit of a press down to encourage it not to pop up again. <laughs> That little bit there that's just the other side of the stitching that wants to pop up. Because it's naughty. Same with this one. I love this one. I just absolutely love it. My gluing's a bit wayward today. A little on the wayward side. Oh well. That's okay. 
there we go. So now we've got our fronts. We just need to decorate them. Well, you don't need to. If you don't want to, don't. I mean, they look fab like that, I think. But I'm going to, and because we've got five signatures, I'm going to do each of them fairly similarly. Similarly. Yes. So what I did, because I, this is what I wanted. I, some while ago now, Mr. F got me this from a charity shop. And it might look like white to you, but it's actually not. If I put something white next to it, you'll see. It's it's grey. And at the time I thought, what the heck am I going to do with that? But it says here £3.50 and he got it for £2. And it's it's 250 pieces of this. It's, it's amazing. So I thought that was what I wanted. I didn't want white for this and I didn't really want cream either. So I used my field note stamps, stamped out the label, stamped out the specimen, stamped out the collect. So I'm now just going to cut. I don't know what I want for this. So I'm going to cut two of everything just in case that is what I use. No, not three of everything. I've only got two, two left. Let's just cut that off there. I haven't got a chance of cutting that straight. It's still on there. So yeah, I think they look nice on grey. I like them. And the scorch timber, it, it's a sort of grey brown, isn't it? Blacky brown really. So I think it goes nicely with it. This would be a doddle for anybody who could cut. <laughs> cut halfway straight would be a help. Okay, two of the collects. got the field notes excuse me if you haven't got the field notes set don't despair just you could either use a piece of ready-made ephemera of which Timmy has tons or you could stamp out something else it doesn't have to be these I just thought that they were kind of in keeping with the bird for some reason I don't know if they are in keeping with the bird I just felt that the field label probably is, I don't know about collect so much, but <coughs> oh, excuse me, got a right frog in my throat. I was up quite early this morning because uh, of the nurse's appointment. Because you know, when you know you've got to go somewhere, you're always up quite early, aren't you? So I'll have some of these left for another occasion, which is good. So it's just these two to cut out. I'm going fast for me. This is fast. If I wasn't on video. <laughs> I would be much slower than this. I wouldn't be any more accurate. I just feel I was being more accurate. I would cut them on the trimmer, but it's really awkward cutting little things, holding them while you cut them. Last cut. There we go, right. So we've got our sort of labels cut out, if you like. And what I'm going to do is get my little inky board, which is getting more and more warped. I've no idea why. It's not up against a radiator or anything, so I don't know what that's about. 
and my brush which is here whoops so I hope you can see that this brings a real value to your to your scraps I'm just going in here and I'm coming in more at the corners than the edges like that and I'll do one of each and show you what I do with them so it's not they're not too dark not too grungy room for more grunge don't even know what time it is oh quarter to five that's not too bad oh i might as well carry on and do them all hadn't i yeah we had um a kind of lunchy thing at lunchtime i'm having our main meal tonight so that's not usually how we do it, but it's what's happening tonight. I thought it was getting peckish. Birthday cake don't keep you full long. <laughs> that's one of those things that you want more. I need more cake. Well, I haven't got any. got to go to the dietitian next month early next month like ninth or something so i've really got to behave myself <laughs> and then i'm going to ink around the edge with my dauber because then you get a more definite sort of brown or whatever color you're going for on on the edge itself i'll come back to you when i've done all of them so that's them done um but like i said i think there's room for a little bit more grunge and because we've used this to ink on there is some res residual ink sitting there oh that wasn't easy for me to say so i'm just going to add a little bit of water to it and then i'm just going to drop these in like that and just get a little bit of can you see that a little bit of drip drop going on there Just grunge them up. Do with a bit more water. But I don't want these to get too wet. Perfect. I don't want too much on them either, just just a bit. And it's making use of that ink, isn't it? That's on the board. And I can't get much off that one. Come on. So there we go. Lovely. So they are really nice. Well, I like them. Now we've just got to decide how we're going to arrange them, which birds we're going to use, etc. So here we are. Which birds shall we use? Let's have a look at my fussy cuts. I think that's them all. Well, he's a bit too big. I'd say it's a bit on the large side. Um, is he too big? Yeah, he's too big. That one's just gorgeous, isn't it? But a little too big. Oh, some Timmy Peeps. Don't know who they got in there. He's nice. Is he too big? <coughs> oh, he might be the robin. Robin's quite nice actually, I'll leave him out. That's too big. Oh, I like that one as well. That's nice. Oh, the flowers on their own, but I'm not doing flowers on their own. I like that one. Don't know why I'm discounting some of these. I love them all, but you can't can't use them all, can you? You just can't. Too big. Quite like him. 
Right, okay, so we've whittled that down a bit. So what about that one on there? That's really impactful, isn't it? Uh, and what about this one on here? Yeah, I like those. That's great. The decision has been made. So I've got my field labels, which are still a bit damp. But look nice. So let's put specimen over here. Can you see enough of it? I think so. Let's do this one. We could have the field label up at the top on this one. Over there, like that. Yep, we could. And no, the collect needs to go on that side, otherwise you won't see it. It'll just be a label all about nothing. Let's put the collect up there. Let's put the field label over here. So I'm sticking to very much the same recipe throughout here, to be honest. Tell you, my mind can't help keep going back to Princess Catherine. I'm so sorry for her and her family. They're having a terrible time of it at the minute with King Charles and and now um, Princess Catherine. It's it's dreadful. So I just need some colored colored little pieces of ephemera. So I'm going into my curator's snippets. I'll come back to you. I'll deal with you at the moment. Uh, on the others, I have put some stamps on, um, but I can't get any stamps on this one because it's very dark. So I'm going to have to make up for it with with snippets, snippety bits. That's a good colour, isn't it, for this one? That could possibly go there. It's a bit like doing a jigsaw when you don't know what the pieces are, to be honest. This is a kind of pinky one. I quite like that. I don't know. I think that might be enough. I think that might be enough. So let's bring in the little blue boy. And... I don't know, is there anything blue? Does Timmy give you anything blue? Well, there's a blue label. And there's another blue outlined label. They're quite nice. Um, I haven't really got any other colours to work with apart from that beautiful brown there. But still, I'll carry on looking. There's another label with blue around it. I quite like those, actually. They're nice. Um, I just saw something blue there, but... Oh, I've lost it again. Oh, it's this one here. This tiny one, yeah. Okay, let's go with them. So, I've got that there, that there, my birdie there. So let's see where these can go. Let's just play play around with them a little bit. Push that up a little bit and put one at the bottom perchance. Like so. Yep, yes, 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 it's coming together quite nicely. And I've got this tiny little one here, which I think I'm going to put there. So what do we think? I don't like this gap here. 
is what I think. Let's bring that down a little bit. Yeah, I'm okay with it. I'll leave it while I stick this lot down. So the first thing to stick down is this. And I'm just going to, as tiny as they are, I'm going to ink around them because they look too new without the ink on. So I'm just going to go piece by piece and stick them on. And tweezers are very often a good help at this stage. Let's just pop that in there and it's going to go under that field label like that. Perfect, I think. Is that straight? Give or take. Give or take. And then this one, which is already inked, round up on. So yeah, just once again, you do not have to decorate your um, envelopes. You can leave them as they are. And they look pretty nice, I think, just as they are. But if you do want to decorate, um, you can use any of the Timmy um, embellishments that he's got. I mean, he's got so many packs of little pieces of snippets and ephemera and embellishments and stuff. Which I, I myself have got loads of, so I don't really know why I felt the necessity to buy the birds. I just loved them. So that's going to go up to there, like so. Then we're going to stick our specimen one on. I'm going to bring that out quite a way, almost to the edge, in fact, to there. Ooh, that's not straight. Not straight? I think so. There we go. And then it's just the birdie to, to stick on. quiet. <laughs> Upside down bird, that's no good at all. So about there, I would say. So what do we think? I think that's quite nice. I think that that is not straight, but what can you do? It's stuck on now. And this, yeah, when I come back to it, I like it. I like that you can see quite a bit of that blue. So I'm all right with that. So let's move along. So I'm putting that right in that corner. So it looks like we've used the whole bit that's available to us. This needs inking, of course. And gluing. So I know Sinead is doing this, but is anybody else? Let me know in the comments if you are following along. I love to know that I'm not just talking to myself <coughs> but excuse me but you could just be cherry picking ideas of course of what you might want to do in the future you know ideas for different journals you might not have Timmy scraps you might have Edith scraps you might have scraps from a, a digi kit all of which you can do exactly this with 
So you can take the ideas and just use them as, as you wish. Lovely. Is that anything like straight? Not so much. There we go. This one, it's tiny, but it needs inked. My fingers are awful, horrible, gluey, inky mess. But <laughs> that's the way I normally am. So what can I say? Take me to mo till tomorrow to get them clean. And then tomorrow I'll start all over again. So that just goes down there, doesn't it, I think? Is that, is that where that goes? Yeah, I think so. And then this piece goes there, I think. Oh, it'll all be a surprise when we put the bird on, if it fits or not. Might have to add more pieces. No, we'll be all right. I think we'll be all right. So that goes about there, right down to the bottom. Now we've got our field label to stick on. I think I'm finished with my ink. I do like this grey paper, I'll tell you. Well, card or whatever it is, 160 GSM. So it's kind of that funny weight, isn't it, between paper and card. I don't know quite what you'd call it. So I'm going to bring that up to there. Like that. Marvellous. Make sure you give that a good press down when you're sticking on top of stitching. It's always a bit reluctant to stick. But that's fine. Now then, you are going to go there. Down the touch. Yeah. That's great. So you worked. Whoever doubted it. <laughs> yeah, you all did, I know. I did. How long have I been working on this? I don't know. Let's have a look and see if it says. 47 minutes. God, for me, that's quick. So, just like that. I like him there. Yes. Lovely. Lovely. That's him stuck on. Right, so now what we've got to do is do the paper that goes inside. Why have you not stuck down? Did I not stick that? <laughs> Did I just miss one out completely? Oh my goodness me. What a Charlie. Just going to put a tiny little bit of glue there, just where the thread is. So it doesn't unravel itself. Right, that should be alright now. So yeah, we just need the paper that goes into it. And I've just taken a piece of ordinary copier paper. This happens to be cream and I'm nearly out of this. Um, but whatever copier paper you normally use, and I've cut it in half lengthwise, and then I'm just going to stencil on it. I'm using this Tim Holtz uh, stencil. It's THS077. I can't remember what it's called, but it's just beautiful. I love it. And I'm just going to use my brush. And I, I don't want to do too much to this, because I do want this for journaling. Because that's a common mistake we make, I think. We we decorate the journaling a bit too much. <laughs> so you can't actually journal on the journaling. So that's just perfect. You can even write over that. I mean, it's, it's, it's grand. It's grand and dandy. There we go. How pretty is that? That is a very pretty stencil and one I have just recently acquired, although I've been after it for ages and ages and ages. But I had the funds to do it, so I did it. I 
There we go, and just press that in with the bone folder. And then come over again, press that in with your bone folder, and then it pops into the envelope like that. Now I need to cut another piece, and I'm not going to do it because you know how to make yourself a piece of journaling by now. So there are our envelopes. I'm not even going to put any Velcro on it because my intention is to put it in a pocket. So it doesn't, it doesn't need Velcro, which will only ultimately make it thicker. So there are our, clear the way, there we are. There are our five little envelopes, one for each. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I do. I like them all, actually. Don't want to give any of you a complex. You're all very nice. <laughs> So I hope you like them. I hope you give this kind of Franken envelope a go. Um, we will be using this process again, um, but making different envelopes that we can make pockets out of. But these are actually going in the pockets. So that's one way of using your scraps up in a delightful way, I think. I love them. I love the whole concept. So thanks for joining me. I will see you again very soon, I have no doubt. Um, this is, what day is today? Monday. So hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. But you never know, do you? You never know what happens. <laughs> Things always change at the last moment. So I'll see you soon anyway. You take care of yourselves. Oh, I could say goodbye to you properly. There we are. <laughs> you take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remember, be kind. Even when it's difficult. Yeah. I know. Just be kind. And I'll see you again as soon as I possibly can. Bye for now. Bye. Bye-bye.